Welcome back to KTN Prime. Now, the mention of the name Somalia evokes painful images of violence, suicide bombings, and other acts of terror in the minds of many Kenyans. But did you know that there's a part of Somalia renowned for its peace and quiet? In fact, many Kenyans are now seeking greener pastures in this part of the greater Somalia that has declared itself an independent state. Tonight, KTN's special correspondent, Alex Chamada, reports from the heart of Somaliland on daring abroad. Somaliland is a self-declared independent state that is internationally recognized as an autonomous region of Somalia, but not as an independent country. With a population of about 3.5 million, the region lies in northwestern Somalia, on the south coast of the Gulf of Eden. Its capital city is Hargeisa. Somaliland is a former British protectorate that united with the Italian Somalia in 1960 after independence but broke away in 1991 following years of civil war. It conducts its own elections and celebrates its independence every 18th day of May. The current president is Ahmed Mohamed Muhammad Silanyo. Now, many Kenyans would frown at the thought of living in any part of Somalia, doing business or working there. But there are Kenyans who have found greener pastures in Somaliland that some observers refer to as the oasis of peace in a region that is jinxed with violence and terror. Charles Wangila and his fellow young Kenyan entrepreneurs have exported their skills in bread making to Hargeisa City. They are currently employed, but they have a bigger dream of running their own business. Talk of daring abroad and a few meters away is a herbal clinic owned by a young enterprising Kenyan who says unemployment in Kenya and stiff competition in his profession pushed him beyond the borders. Yeah, I first of all uh, went to the Ministry of uh, Health and uh, since they say that uh, they don't register herbals but they encourage the herbals, I later went to the Ministry of Religion and Culture and they gave us a, a business license to go on. Somaliland is a semi-desert region which depends on livestock trade and remittances from abroad as some of its economic pillars. And do not be surprised, a veterinary school that is partly funded by the European Union, known as Igad Sheikh Technical Veterinary School, is headed by a Kenyan. It's addressing issues that are related to the uh, Igad region, particularly the dry land areas. We have quite a number of also students that we have attracted from Kenya. Water was key in determining where this plant would be located. You also find a Coca-Cola production facility worth about 2 billion Kenyan shillings, the country's single biggest investment made by the Somaliland beverage industries. The facility's supply chain manager is a Kenyan. CO2 is one of our key ingredients. So we store the steel here, steel to here in liquid form, but the CO2 is not manufactured here, we import it. We've been importing at uh, the beginning of the plant from Belgium, but we have changed recently. We are buying from Kabasi, Kenya. Shift to the education sector, and you will not miss other daring Kenyans. Golis University, one of the region's best higher learning institutions, has partnered with some of Kenya's universities, like Kenyatta University and Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology to quench the education thirst of young Somalilanders. The institution has employed at least five Kenyan lecturers. It will be very difficult for uh, our students, our graduates to get jobs outside because the country is not recognized and nobody will recognize a degree from this university. That's why we saw it fit 
to go for collaboration. And the first place that uh, we decided to go for collaboration is uh, Kenya. We want to be like them. And the only way we can be is if we work with them and copy their quality, bring it back here. There are various categories of Kenyans who work here. A majority of them statistics indicate work for international agencies. Others come here to work as professionals, for example, teachers and doctors. Then there are those who come here as consultants for the government. When people hear Somaliland, they think it is Somalia. No, Somaliland is a different state. Very peaceful indeed. And when I came here and looked at the people, they are very good people. They want to learn. Community policing, the equivalent of Kenya's troubled Nyumbakumi initiative, is said to be doing well here. We have elders who identify any person who wants, for example, you want to rent a house in Hargeisa. You have to talk to the elders, or you must have an grantor who knows you. So normally they have this system, they have a network where they communicate, the Somaliland people. If any person is new to them, they start asking questions. They call us yes. Kenyati. Kenyati. Yeah, they call Are they Kenyan. from Kenya? They call Kenyan. Yeah. 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 The last one locals say happened over seven years ago. The government says stability was achieved after clan militia were demobilized and integrated into unified police and military forces in the early 1990s. I think one of the biggest challenges, as I said, is that lack of recognition. But I'm sure as soon as we get our own independence and as soon as the international community accepts Somalia, as a partner of the international community, I think one of our major obstacles to development, to investment, to the rest, we'd also have some problems. I think other challenges, I think we're still working on trying to establish a, a vibrant financial institutions. However, some critics and even the neighboring autonomous region of Puntland claim that despite experiencing less terror threats as compared to the rest of Somalia, Somaliland is a safe haven for terrorists who operate from its soil to cause mayhem in the rest of Somalia. I think we are working hand in hand with a lot of different international actors, including the Egyptian, the Djibouti, and the Somali themselves, the British and others, and we are trying to work with them. But the, the region is safe, and I think our contribution is being very much felt by the world. Debate over recognition of Somaliland as an independent state is a sensitive matter. The federal government in Mogadishu is vehemently opposed to it. In fact, according to the constitution of the federal government of Somalia, Somaliland is a state within Somalia. The international community is cautious over that matter. Take the case of South Sudan, the newly created. Uh, there were enough parameters that enabled you to move in and then say the people of Southern Sudan must be allowed to go into a referendum and determine for themselves that they want to secede. But that can only be done with concurrence. Somaliland already has a trade liaison office in Nairobi and plans are underway for Kenya to open one in Hargeisa. We have, I think, better experience, we have more capacity, and we're willing uh, uh, to export labor to them. There's fisheries, there's agriculture, there's uh, livestock uh, development, there's education, there's health, right? Even in terms of mining, you know, there are many, many areas that we could work on together. Well, trade is not recognizing the country. Trade is a different thing. Trade really moves like water. Trade has no barrier. There are people there who buy, who sell. The Somaliland shilling, as well as the passport, are not internationally recognized. But this does not seem to hinder trade with the outside world, with Kenya gearing up for better relations with the self-declared independent state. For KTN, I'm Alex Chamwada.